The African Union Convention on Prevention and Combating Corruption, AUCPCC, was adopted in Maputo, Mozambique on July 11, 2003 and came into force in 2006. The convention has been ratified by 44 member states of the African Union. The Gambia ratified the convention in 2005 and have since made significant strides in the fight against corruption including reforms of the criminal code and procedure and reckon the Jani Commission to probe and facilitate the recovery of stolen state assets by former president of the Gambia. Abdullah Jadama, chairman of ACCG, says Gambians are not oblivious to the fact that there is still existence of corruption in the country. The Gambians and the government of the Gambia are not obviously to the fact that there is still an existence of systemic mass and grand corruption in this country which is retarding our growth economically and by uh, and other development aspirations that the Gambian people also are also in for. Corruption cannot be removed from the equation when we reflect on the poor public service delivery and Gambians and non-Gambians that we are receiving today in our public health system, in our schools, in our agriculture, in our social welfare, in an efficient water and electricity. Michael Oko Davis, member of ACCG, says the Ministry of Health is the most corrupt institution. The Ministry of Health is known to be one of the most corrupt institutions in the country. From procurement of medication, um, PPEs, in disbursement of COVID funds, we have so many grievances. And when a minister talks about massive corruption in his own ministry, I think IGP should do something. Mar Nyang, CEO of Gambia Participates, highlights projects the anti-corruption coalition Gambia is working on. Minister of Finance, during the budget speech, he made mention that the anti-corruption commission should be in operation by end of 2019. So come 2019, we have not seen the anti-corruption commission being uh, enforced but the bill was passed in late i mean early december 2019 to date um we have been seeing bills that have been going in and out at the national assembly and that the finance and public accounts committee is still looking into that anti-corruption bill and the civil society organization and media had made a review of that bill and they presented a recommendation to the national assembly to make sure they amend the bill because if the bill is passed at the parliament then the anti-corruption commission will have a thief I mean, uh, uh, how to call it, uh, um, a power to investigate, but they will not have the power to prosecute. Despite laudable effort, the Gambia is yet to create an independent anti-corruption agency to lead the campaign to minimize corruption in the country. Anti-corruption coalition Gambia recognized the challenges that the government of the Gambia are faced with and that they demand the government to take appropriate measures to enact effects and efficient national laws, create strong judicial system and an independent anti-corruption agency to spearhead the national anti-corruption reforms. Reporting for Paradise TV News, Nafisa Tukamara.